Okay, so for this recording, I am going to be addressing me using cases of schizophrenia for um, attracting paranormal entities. See, the thing is, people that are schizophrenic are more receptive to types of perception that we do not experience. See, when they experience their perception, to us, that's not reality. That is not, in any way, shape, or form, something within physical matter. However, when you look at it, like, you know, this is uh, spiritual, this is outside of physical matter, and it comes from physical matter, if nothing else. Like, your brain creates this type of perception. Think about it. If you decide that what you experience is completely reality, how many other people could say they experience what you experience at the same time? You know what I mean? Like, if certain stimuli go off, that other people hear that as well. What I've thought would be interesting for me to do is to document exactly what schizophrenic people experience in their reality and see if it correlates with other schizophrenics and what they experience in their reality because there are connections within cases of schizophrenia. Certain schizophrenic people will see certain hallucinations that other schizophrenic people will as well. So, what that tells you is that, um, well, basically, that when you're doing these paranormal investigations to see whether or not cases of schizophrenia draw in more paranormal energy, you have to realize um, that all of what's being perceived is coming from the mind. We're all connected to that paranormal realm. It's all within us. Our spirit is something outside of physical matter, but connected to physical matter. And think about um, dark matter. Okay, dark matter is stuff that doesn't even exist, technically, like thoughts. Think about us having thoughts. Like, how do we even know that those exist within physical matter, and if it doesn't, then what is it connected to? Do you see what I mean? Regardless, um, I was just uh, thinking, like, you know, because uh, schizophrenics are so connected to, you know, that spiritual um, type of perception, think about it. Could that have to do with them having an overabundance of dopamine? Because they usually prescribe for these cases of schizophrenia stuff that antagonizes dopamine release. So that apparently prevents them from experiencing those hallucinations. But how do we even know like, that what they're experiencing isn't reality? Because when your mind creates reality and you have such of an overabundance of dopamine, you decide at that point that your uh, perceiving perception that's actually real or isn't. And reality can be manipulated. Like, I'm just shooting a video, like, okay, okay.